Welcome to Extra. I'm Joanne Hines. And I'm Georgia Lash. Here at Extra, we bring you expanded coverage of recently broadcast features from Sun City TV. In this month of Thanksgiving, we're so thankful for the stories we have to share. Joanne, let's start with some money talk. The numismatists of our Sun City Coin Club share their knowledge as they conduct evaluations of your collections. Our news anchor, Norma Taylor, found out what her collection was worth. Let's take a look. Well, I'm here with Sharon McVetridge, who is president of the Coin Club. You've got an exciting event going on here tonight. Tell us about it. Tonight we're having valuations and displays, and some of our members are selling coins this evening. It's geared for residents of Sun City bringing in five coins that they're curious about. If perhaps it's worth money, you never know. You just might have a coin that's worth a new roof. Well, I brought some coins to be evaluated, and who knows? I could be going on an around-the-world cruise, right? You really could. <laughs> you never know what's in your pocket change. <laughs> this is an exciting night. I'm anxious to find out if maybe one of my coins could be worth buku bucks. Well, if it's worth buku bucks, we would help you find a buyer, if you wish. Okay. If it's something worthy of an auction house, we can help get you in touch with the right auction house. Whoa, okay, all right. You need we, it's protecting the residents of Sun City is what we're all about. We don't like finding out that a resident took their coin to a pawn shop and got hoodwinked. Well, that's a wonderful service that's that you right. do, Sharon. Well, thanks for all you do, and now I'm going to find out if I have a treasure. Let's go see which one gives you the best valuation. Okay, all thank right. you. Thank you very much for coming. Well, I'm here with Chuck Heck from the Coin Club, and Chuck is going to assess, and I brought a few coins here, and Chuck is going to take a look at them. They're old coins, and Chuck is going to tell me, do I have a treasure here? So, Chuck, go ahead. Norma, I hope you do have a treasure here. Uh, I, I want to say thank you for coming to the, our fifth annual show. It's more of a, uh, not really a show, but a display of what we collect. And uh, most people come here to have their coins looked at and see if they're valuable. So let's work with you. Okay. Uh, right away, I see that most of these are modern coins. You have a, an Eisenhower dollar. You have a Kennedy half dollar. And it is dated, see, this is why we have glasses, uh, in 1971. And you also have a Sacagawea dollar. So I don't want to hurt your feelings, but you should spend these. They're not worth... Uh, any big amount of money. Oh, boo-hoo! <laughs> I know. We, we disappoint a lot of people, and I'm sorry that you're one of them. Now, here's something that I actually collected, and I have every one of these little tokens. These are subway tokens for New York City. Yep, you're and right. And they are really worth nothing, but uh, for people like me, I spent that $10.95 to get all the tokens in a Lucite holder. So these are nice, they're historic, but uh, they're not worth any real money. Okay, keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, th th this, now, the next one is a medal, 1939, uh, the New York World's Fair. Mm -hmm. This is in excellent condition. It has uh, some spots that could be removed with a little xylol. But yes, this, th this token sells on eBay. Some people want $100 for it, but I know you can get about $25 or $30 for this little token. Whoa. Yes. I can go for hamburgers. There you go. Maybe not dinner, but certainly you can get lunch. And this little gem, this is uh, one penny, and you'll see this is Queen Elizabeth. This happens to be, uh, I need my strong glasses. I believe this is Australian. It, 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 it's, I don't think it's from England, but I'd have to have my magnifying glass, and it's not worth more than a penny. It's modern day. And here's a good one. Here's yeah, a here's yeah, the buffalo the yeah. buffalo nickel. Right. And this is from 1927. You can make out the 2 and the 7 just barely right where my thumbnail is. Right. And it's from Philadelphia because there's no mint mark between the E of 5 and the C of cents. No mint mark, so it's from Philadelphia. And this little nickel it would probably cost you a quarter to buy this at a coin show. You could probably sell it to a dealer for 10 cents. So you're in the money, dear. Not a lot of money. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. In essence, you. I, I better keep my day job. 
yeah, don't give it up. You know, <laughs> wait, wait, wait till you bring out the treasures and we'll find something really good for you. Well, Chuck, I'd like to say it was a pleasure meeting you today. <laughs> <laughs> but you're never coming back. But, uh, uh, yeah, you know, um, I was hoping for better news. All right, but, okay. Uh, well, I wouldn't well, want to lie to you. You're a sweet lady and you deserve the best treatment. Uh, one thing we do is here is we're honest. We tell people what they're really worth. Okay. So most people really want us uh, to, uh, they want us to go away. Okay. <laughs> well, I thank you, Chuck, for your honesty. Uh. Ooh, better luck next time, Norma. The body of knowledge of those Klan Club members was impressive, though. All those facts. So Norma may have had more luck attending one of the best parties of the season. Now, Georgia, you have that story. Members of our Sun City Travel Club didn't need to board a plane, a train, or a bus to enjoy the feast and fun of Oktoberfest. Our reporter, Carol Fox, got the story. What a wonderful way to start the month of October. We're here at the Pavilion with the Travel Club who are celebrating Oktoberfest. We are so <laughs> excited to have our Oktoberfest again this year. This is our second time to have Oktoberfest, last year being our first Travel Club social event. And we've got great music, great food this year, authentic German food in fact. And we also have prizes and some German desserts. Boy, that sounds like lots of fun. We are going to have a blast this year. <laughs> what kind of games are you going to play? So this was interesting. Our social committee came up with a brat toss where brats are actually oiled and they're going to be tossed to the opposing team and you have to catch them. So it sounds messy. This ought to be pretty funny, I think. Um, we've not done this one before. And then we're going to have a table trivia. So everybody will be, and then we'll have door prizes at the end of our event. Wonderful. And what about musical entertainment? So we have Mr. Ed Fowler. He's known as Mr. Ed, lives here in Sun City. And um, he is going to play some polka music. And we also, this year for the first time, have the Sun City Cloggers that are going to perform a couple of songs for us as part of the entertainment. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. So, Chef Johannes, we hear that you are here in Sun City from Austria. Is that correct? That's correct, all the way from Austria, here in Sun City, yeah. Very exciting, and you have prepared a traditional Oktoberfest menu for the Travel Club tonight, right? That's correct, yes. We're starting off with some traditional German bread, some Lagen bread, and some pretzels here. We do make a beautiful uh, warm potato salad from Germany. Which we, then we do have a, a German casserole with some Spätzle, which is an egg noodle in Germany. Then we do have the traditional schnitzel, uh, schnitzel, yes, ma'am. It's mis made with chicken. In Germany, you also made it with pork or with veal. So, then we have red cabbage tonight as well, and then we do have the traditional sauerkraut, and uh, we have, of course, finished off with the bratwurst here, which have different varieties, and we also have the decors from Austria, which I brought with me, and um, to uh, enhance the ambience here. So, we are very pleased to be here. Bon appétit. Oh, bon appétit. Merci, chef. <laughs> So, Alice, we're so excited to get to see the Cloggers perform at Oktoberfest today. Well, we were just thrilled to be asked to dance tonight, so we're so happy to be here. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. Are there specific songs or types of steps or anything that you're going to be performing to? Well, there's probably a million clogging steps, but tonight we're going to do beer barrel polka because we thought that would be a perfect <laughs> dance for the Oktoberfest. <laughs> Excited to move on to our favorite segment, Extra Special. It's a little early in the show for that, isn't it, Georgia? We need the time. Okay. Our Extra Special is a recap of the 2024 Life Under the Sun events. Let's get started with the kickoff, Club Fair. There is so much energy on Sun City Club Fair Day. Sun City TV sent out two crews 
to get the wel welcoming details from some of our clubs. We are here at Pinckney Hall and the pavilion for the annual club fair. Over 90 chartered clubs and community groups are present and hundreds of Sun City residents are here exploring new interest. There's lots of great energy, so let's go meet some of the club reps. I'm Tim Dryam. I'm the president of the Sun City Woodworkers. Our club um, essentially are open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and Saturday for general shop operation. We're open Tuesday and Thursday for training of our new members. Uh, in order to join our club, it costs $50 a year. And then if you want to be in one of our special interest groups, which we have five of, you uh, pay an additional fee for those particular clubs. Uh, as I said, five special interest groups. We have our wood turners, our wood carvers, our railroaders, which are a big part of our model making portion. And we have our technology SIG, which is our newest SIG, which is uh, focused around uh, the computer driven technologies like the computer numerically controlled router, uh, laser engraver, and a 3D printer. We also have our Wood Chicks, which is a group of ladies that gra gather together to uh, share uh, learning experiences and also to be able to learn. Hi, my name's Tyler Tolstrup. I'm here representing the Sun City Tennis Association. We're a fun, friendly group of members that uh, share a common interest and joy of playing tennis. Uh, we're a very diverse group, men, women, young residents, older residents, some pretty uh, good athletes, some people who can barely get around a tennis court. We have people who are quite expert at playing the game, as well as people who've never hit a tennis ball before in their life. Uh, we love this game and we have really a, a fun, great club. We have just short of 800 members in our club. We meet monthly as a board, but uh, really all the meetings take place out on the tennis court where we all have a blast. I'm the president of the Oakley Farmers Club. We're a large club with 330 members and about 330 plots. So it's one of the larger clubs in Sun City. And we have uh, three locations, one on the east side and the south side, or west side of Sunset, uh, Sun City Boulevard, and another one over in the Andover area. They're all under the power lines. You know, we farm all year round. There's a summer season and a fall season. Uh, and the summer season is really the spring season because it's too hot in midsummer to grow anything here in South Carolina. Um, we, uh, how did people join? Go to our website, okay? It's Oakley Farmers Club uh, at, um, at hotmail.com. And just send an email just saying I'd like to join the club. And put on there your email address and name and address. And then we will get back with you within a day or two and send you out the application and or meet with you and take you on a tour of the gardens. I'm vice president of the Synchronettes, and the Synchronettes is a fun group. We get in the water and we practice twice a week, and then we do a show in February, and that's our big uh, for the community. But anybody can join if you like to be in the water and you like to practice, go underwater. We can teach you all the skills that you need to know. You don't need to know any synchronized swimming before you join. And you can come and join one of our practices. We practice Wednesday from 1 to 3 and Saturdays from 9 to 11 at Perrysburg Pool. And you are welcome to come and observe a practice, join in the fun. And then after that, you can decide if you want to join or you can join and just help us out with the show. You can swim in the show or you can just come to practices. I'm going to tell you about GFWC, Women's League of the Low Country. We are affiliated with an international group of women volunteers. Locally, we have about 80 women in our club, mostly from Sun City, who get together and do all sorts of activities. Um, if you're interested in joining, we're in Sensations every month. We have an article in there that tells about upcoming events. It tells about how to join and what we're really about. Um, we 
have tons of events going on that you can choose to participate in whatever interests you. The Shalom Club meets every second Wednesday of the month, and we meet right here in Pinckney Hall. How does someone join up? You can join up at the club fair, or you can go online and sign up online. Again, we meet on the second Wednesday right here in Pinckney Hall. It's open to everybody. It's not a Jewish club. People think that because we say Shalom, it means uh, that we're a Jewish club. We are not. It's open for everybody. Shalom means hello, goodbye, peace, everything else. I'm, I'm uh, president of the Silver Striders Club here in Sun City. We are a walking and running group and we uh, walk and run. Our club is mainly comprised of walkers, but we also have a number of runners. And walkers walk about three miles every time they go out and runners run three or four miles. You can join our club, Silver Striders, once again, by doing an online membership form, which is newly out this year, and you can pay by check or cam card. I know you just viewed extra coverage of the club fair, but wait, there's more. You can see even more clubs on the camera in, on our Sun City Club Fair special, now airing on YouTube. Mm. Now, moving on, let's take a look at the event our SCTV crew most enjoys each year at Life Under the Sun, the Volunteer Appreciation Dinner. The event honors the many Sun City neighbors who provide services for our community. Norma Taylor and I cruised the crowd to get the well-deserved kudos out to our volunteers. Tanya, we're spending this whole evening letting people brag and thank all the great people that are here today. It's your turn. Um, it's... <laughs> It's, it's just amazing. I mean, it's simply amazing. Look at all of these people at this event. These are volunteers. They give each and every day, I mean, of the goodness of their heart to help this community, to help the, their fellow residents, their neighbors. I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. And, and we hear so many bad things out in the world and things like that. But you come here and you see happiness. You see smiling faces. You pe see people giving back, not only inside the gates, but outside the gates too. Um, so yeah, it, that we need a day for our volunteers. We need to appreciate our volunteers. And what a night under the stars to do it. I'm with Art Sites. And Art, you're with Safety and Service and I know yes. you've been with them a long time. What exactly do you do? Well, I'm the manager of Patrol 3. There's actually three parts to safety and service. And uh, Ellen is our, Ellen Estes is our uh, chairman. She also does the RFIDs for getting the folks in and out of the gates. And I'm sitting with Roy Furlan here, and he runs a special events, which is probably a harder job than mine. And how many years have you been doing this, Art? Oh, I had brown hair, Norma. <laughs> Probably about 14. Elise, I want you to spend just as much time as you'd like bragging about the people that you represent with the Resident Advisory Council, with our neighborhood reps. Come on, let's give them some kudos. Oh, yes, it, it, and it's easy to do. I have to tell you, we have the most wonderful group of individuals who help their neighborhoods each and every day. There's every, there are neighborhood reps and alternate reps and they work together to bring the neighborhoods together, to bring information to the neighborhoods. They attend the neighborhood rep council every month, except July and August, of course. <laughs> we all have to take that off. Well, yes, exactly. <laughs> Mandatory. <laughs> But they do a phenomenal job of keeping their neighbors not only informed, but together so that the, each of the neighborhoods has a, a feel to it that is unique. And what we do every month is we ask them to tell us what they've been doing during that month, and we get some phenomenal information between what they do with the local charities here and what they do internally as far as social events is just amazing. It, it, is, it is something that Sun City is, should be and is very proud of because we, this is something unique to Sun City. Once a year, 
we get to get the man who's always behind the camera, in front of the camera, to thank him for all the work you do for Sun City TV, George. Well, it's great. You know, what I really enjoy is it's just a great group of volunteers. And, you know, most people did not work in television or even audio. And, and they've come together and learned to do things. And when we look at our YouTube numbers, it's obvious that the people at home enjoy what we're putting on television. And that's what's rewarding. We've had a lot of thank yous this evening, and I know we've directed some toward lifestyles. But seriously, we volunteer, but we can't do what we do without all of you directing us. Give us how many people here are tonight as volunteers. Yeah, so uh, it's a record number tonight. Um, so we are up to 415 that attended tonight. Um, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and we love it. This is our favorite event of the year. So, Well, we thank you, as always. You take good, good care of us, and that's why we keep volunteering. Well, thank you, guys. <laughs> Dining and dancing under the stars, such fun, but we were up early the next morning. 7.30 came quick as we joined over 150 of our neighbors for the Life Under the Sun fitness walk. We always have so much fun at the walk, maybe too much fun. Let's check it out. Ooh, it is a beautiful day to celebrate life under the sun here outside. And we're going to watch some of our neighbor, uh, 185 of our neighbors walk this beautiful Argent Lakes golf course. It's beautiful, but it's also good exercise. Not for us. We're on a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're on a golf cart. Well, here we are, Ryan. How many years have we been doing this? This is probably our third year doing this walk. It's always enjoyable here to get out early in the morning and get folks out to walk in and see in the golf course. And how about, how many people we got here today? Well, we were expecting around 150 people or so, so we had a pretty good turnout for this event. And we're getting started, how many, about another minute, right? That's right, yep, we're going to get it going here. Uh, we're going to walk the back nine of the golf course today. It's going to be a good time. Thank you for speaking with us. Uh, thank you. would you give to future walkers? Do it. Do it. It's <laughs> wonderful. It. What a way to start do. your day. I agree. Uh, Next year, we should walk. Maybe not. Uh, okay, or not. <laughs> Let's wrap up Life Under the Sun with one of the newest events. Georgia, you were there. Our health and wellness department did it again. They put the fun in fitness, bringing what I would call a tasting menu of group fitness cardio dance classes to Pinkney Hall. It was lights out and glow sticks on. Oh, we've got a morning ready to go what here. What are we going to do? Okay. What are um, we going to do? Well, we're going to glow. Glow? Okay, <laughs> that sounds like fun. How are we going to do that? We're going to do it at a dance party. Oh, am I invited? You're not invited. You're hosting. Okay, okay well, you are hosting, Wild Bill. Uh, now, I know you've got those classes going and going and going. Now, they're going to have them glowing and glowing and glowing. Uh, so, tell us about what's happening here today as part of Life Under the Sun. Life Under the Sun, we have a special class here at Pinckney Hall, and we have four different fitness teachers that are going to be here, and we'll be featuring 15 minutes of each of those four teachers, and you'll get a different style of fitness, fitness dance. It's going to be a good time. We'll have some old songs. We'll have some new songs, and the place will be packed. Are the Wild Billettes all coming today, too, to, to support your efforts? Everybody's coming. <laughs> Everybody's coming. I think busloads are coming. I know that we're going to put people up in the balcony. We know that planes are flying in. If the airport is open, this place is going to be booming with happy, happy dancing. 
You know, we didn't get the wind that we thought we would from Milton, but I think we're going to be creating quite a storm in here. What oh, do you think? I, they, yes, yes. <laughs> they say I'm full of hot air and it'll be turbulent. <laughs> well, let's get going. Okay, let's oh, do no, it. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get glowing. Let's get going. Goodbye, everybody. Ryan, we have had quite a week. We're almost done with Life Under the Sun events, but from your health and wellness perspective, you've got to tell us what's going on today because it's the new star of Life Under the Sun. Yeah, so today's great. We have our Glow Fitness Party today. We're showcasing four classes, our instructors. Uh, we turn the lights out, have glow sticks. It's a good overall party. That's why we're doing the interview out here. We can't see in there without those glow sticks going. So what was the concept? Why did you think that we could add this into the Life Under the Sun? Yeah, it's just a fun event. We, you know, we get to showcase our great instructors and do it in a different way, make it more of a fun party type atmosphere and everybody seems to come out and have a good time. So this is our seasonal because we do Flamingo and that draws a huge crowd. We have to mention how many people are here today? Oh, we're going to have 100. We sold out for today. Sold out. These are fabulous events that you put on. We have fun staying fit because of you. Thank you once again. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's get glowing. I am here with Chris Green, and if you have been at any Life Under the Sun or any other events, and you look at the dance floor, you're going to find this lady. As a matter of fact, called out up on stage with Bruno Mars tribute band. So I feel like I'm with a local celebrity. Why are you here today? Well, I'd like to try out a few of the new classes, and I love to dance, and that's why I'm here. And you are going to be here with lots of friends. Oh, that's what I, I hope to make new ones and continue with my old ones. It's a good way to stay fit, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Keeps, keeps me from eating. <laughs> keeps you from eating? Oh, this is why I do eat, because then I, I say I'm making the trade-off. <laughs> that's why you've got more energy than I do. Yeah. Thank you for coming by oh, and telling no us. no problem. Oh, we have got some glowing soul line dancers with us today. Tell us about the class that you've all been taking, Soul Line Dance. Uh, it's taught by Portia on Wednesdays at 11 o'clock in Hidden Cyprus. And it's line dance that's done to soul music. Ooh, um, are we hearing some like uh, Temptations and others? And others. We okay. have one, one of them is Michael Jackson and uh, Beyonce and oh. whoever else. Oh, well, this is great. Are you going to have some fun today? Have you, uh, you you got to go in there. you got to see. It's all lit up. We are going to have so much fun. And we hope that we'll be able to keep up. We just hope we'll be able to keep up. Thank you. That's extra for November. Thanks for watching. You can always catch us on cable and on our YouTube station, where we invite you to subscribe for easy viewing. Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving.